December 15, third Sunday of Advent. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When John the Baptist heard in prison of the works of the Christ, he sent his disciple to him with this question, Are you the one who is to come, or should we look for another? Jesus said to them in reply, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind regain their sight, the lame walk, lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have the good news proclaimed to them, and blessed is the one who takes no offense at me. As they were going off, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out to the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? Then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine clothing? Those who wear fine clothing are in royal palaces. Then why did you go out? To see a prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. Amen, I say to you. Among those born of women, there has been none greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. The Gospel of the Lord Signs of Messiah Jesus tells the disciple of John the Baptist to report to the prophet, who is in prison, that the one whom he baptized in the river Jordan, with the Holy Spirit descending on him in the form of a dove, is truly the Messiah. They do not have to look for another. The proofs can be seen in the blind regaining their sight, the lame walking, and the sick being healed. These are the signs of the presence of the Messiah and the coming of God's kingdom. These miracles and the proclamation of the kingdom should be sufficient to comfort John in his cell in Macarus. His efforts to prepare for the coming of the Messiah have not been in vain. The prophet Isaiah exhausts the Israelites to rejoice because the Lord himself is coming to bring salvation to his people. His presence will put an end to oppression. He will restore justice on earth. In the gospel, Jesus is working around the clock. He fulfills the prophecy of Isaiah, bringing healing to the lame, the blind, the lepers, and many other sick people. The second reading teaches the Christians to be patient over the delay of Lord's second coming. Christians should not become irritable. If we cannot wait patiently, we will be sorry forever. There will be no joy in our hearts. Even if the Lord comes, His coming will have no meaning for us.